All right, what's up, y'all? It's bash time. So we got Outcast for us. T'Challa here too. Um, a little secret about T'Challa. So the last time I took it out, um, <laughs> that thermal cut off. Pretty sure it's because uh, the Kevlar wrapping came off the motor, the rotor, um, and it's chewed all up in there. And it got so hot that it actually killed part of the magnets on the end. So it's not. The 1650kV motor is done. Uh, I'm definitely going to replace it and get another one. But I've got the, the BLX 2050kV, the OG motor that was in here, back in it. And we'll see how that goes. I don't have a heat sink or a fan for it. So I'm not going to push it too hard. I've got a 17 tooth on it. We may get to it today. But after all that yapping, Today is mostly about the Outcast 4S and actually getting to run a battery down in this bad boy. Hopefully. It's kind of chilly out here. For it to be 90 degrees the other day, it's like 50 now. Well, excuse me, it didn't hit 90, it hit 85, 86, not quite 90. So front flips are a little different in this thing. Anything break? Nope. One of these days I'm gonna put the GNSS tractor on here and see how fast it goes. fast enough <laughs> I'll cast for us don't care about no rocks We're also gonna check temperatures on this thing. I've never, never actually checked the temperatures after running this thing, but I've also never ran a whole battery through it, so. In my defense, I haven't really had to worry about it. This thing is awesome. It's definitely not as violent as the 6S rigs. But it can do that. Oh shit, lost the wheel. This one, oh, the whole hex. So the upgrade that this is gonna get, like I said, some, it's gonna get some uh, proper CV axles with proper hex hubs. All right, see if we can find that damn hex. It's been little things like that with this with this rig. That's been the issues I've had. Not really big brakes or anything. It's just the hex hubs aren't good. Here's that. 
I've got other pins for it. And the wheel nuts, man, if you actually wrench one of them down, the damn thing will get stuck on there and they'll strip and then it's stuck forever. So don't recommend them. But other than that, I actually really like this truck. Well, I don't think I brought any more wheel nuts today. I'll check and see. I know I've got a couple, but damn it. Well, for this to be the issues that I have, I'll take that. All right, let's take this off. Check these temps real quick. 81, that's it. 80s. 80s. Yeah. Yeah, unfazed. But that was only a couple minutes, so. Yeah, at least we know that temps aren't an issue. One of these days, once I get <laughs> this to where I can actually run a whole battery through it without something falling off, um, then we'll start playing around with gearing and all that. But right now, it's actually fun enough to drive it does your back flips, your standing back flips, your front flips, all that good stuff. So, can't think of any reason to immediately gear up other than, well, speed. Um, but yeah, that's solid. All right, so let's go ahead and let T'Challa run for a second. Let me finish off this battery that's in it. So earlier, I went with one of my homies to watch the Northmen and y'all I mean it's it's cool it's cool it's it's violent as shit which you know I like violent movies and all but I have to say it's just <laughs> it's like that is the whole premise of the movie is violence which all right whatever you killed my dad. I must avenge him. Yeah, I get that. But don't go to that thinking, oh man, I'm going to learn about Vikings. Is <laughs> Well, you might learn something. Don't take your mama. Don't take your auntie. Don't take your grandma. Unless they also some violent motherfuckers. Bully breed. Uh, movie reviews. Hopefully run this battery down. And then, check temperatures. And also you can see, Minikawa's on here. Instead of the backflips, LPs, or the 6S. I'm just gonna try these out, because I haven't really used them off-road before. So we're gonna see how they do. Not as good off-road as the backflips, obviously. I already missed that 1650. This one geared at 17.2. This is still good with the 2050, but that 1650, the amount of torque that came out of that, whoa. Didn't matter what gear it had on there, it was just mean. This thing flies well. Ah! Walk of shame! Yeah, so this thing, 2050 KB motor is nice. Um, I might gear it up and do some speed runs with it later on some night. Probably not tonight, it's going to be chilly. But, uh, ooh, excuse me. I will do that at some point, but I don't want to kill this motor. It's a good little spare. So if I kill one of my main motors, main basher motors, I have something that I can go back to and keep bashing until I replace the, uh, the other. Ah! 
let's get a speed pull real quick. That was full throttle for a second. Not bad. I mean, it still boogies with the 2050. It's nice. Especially with the built-in Minikawas. That's nice. But, man, I miss my 1650 already. I think that's the battery. Yep. That was a battery I was running the other day anyway. Just wanted to finish that off. Looks like we did. So we're gonna check temps. We'll throw the 4S from the uh, Outcast in here. And drive it back to the car. But we'll call that a day. Let's check these temps real quick though. One thirteen, one twenty. There we go. One twenty. ESC don't give a shit. That's why the ESC was overheating. <laughs> Is because the Kevlar was coming apart inside the sixteen fifty. I was like, why am I getting heat issues when I haven't at all? And we've had, I've had that gear with the twenty five tooth with warm temperatures before, sixty, seventy, eighty degrees out. So having the issues that I had the other day. It was because that Kevlar had come loose. And just so y'all know, I'm not gonna go for warranty. I'm not even gonna ask a Hobby Wing for a warranty because it's not rated for 8S and I absolutely ran that thing on 8S several times. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I won't buy one. I might do the, uh, the trade-in program and all that, but either way, I'm gonna buy another one. I've got a couple coupons and stuff that I can use um, to get some discount. But either way, I would even be all right buying one full price just because I'm going to take fault for this one. Uh, because I know I've heated that thing up. Like when I checked the temps that day, the motor was at 200 at the bell. At the bell end. Uh, but that was the first time, I think, almost ever that I've ever had that motor... Uh, nope, nope. I've had it. I've had it at high temps like that before. Let me let me not lie. Uh, and that's why the magnets died out at the end of them. The very tippy. So, like I said, not even gonna trip. I had it for just over a year. Of beating the hell out of it finding out okay how do I want this geared how do I want this is this gonna be okay will it handle this it's actually had several days also in the summer where I didn't even monitor the temps I was just like fuck it I'm gonna run it so I'm basically saying that motor is my fault that it went out and they're not supposed to last forever anyway <laughs> ESC still secured cool So basically, what it is at now is T'Challa is going to get another 1650 kV, uh, get that replaced. Considering the 1100, but nah, I think we're going to stick with the 1650. So I want speed for this, balance of speed and power. Uh, this is going to get new CV axles with proper hexes on it, and I might not do much else to it. I'm going to leave the electronic stock for now. It will get another servo. Uh, and I'll probably put a max eight combo in here, but that's gonna wait. And then Christopher Wallace, the notorious RIG, is gonna get some chassis and shock tower upgrades and whatnot. 
and I've been going back and forth on whether I wanted to do M2C or Scorch and you know, I'm gonna go with M2C again like I started with this one here uh, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is actually make that one just straight up all M2C eventually I might do that with both of them but the Notorious is definitely gonna get some M2C treatment because well because I can actually get the product M2C has been solid. This is taking beatings. Like shock towers have not even wiggled. So I'm happy with them. All right. Do a little bit of one handed driving. 4S, this thing still boogies. That'll do. 